in a new and confronting video. The anti-abortion group Centre for Medical Progress have claimed that Planned Parenthood are making big money off the sale of human organs. Obviously, the sale of human organs is a federal crime and is punishable by up to 10 years in prison and half a million dollars in fines. So are the claims true? PsyQ investigated. The new video by the Centre for Medical Progress attacks Planned Parenthood for the practice of fetal tissue research. It's the practice of using aborted embryo tissue for medical research, which has been done ethically, legally, and with the consent of the donor in the United States for decades. Fetal tissue has been used by medical researchers and scientists to investigate and find cures for diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, HIV infection, and also to refine techniques for pre-birth surgery on fetuses while they're still inside the womb. Then we close the incision in your uterus uh, using stitches um, and that also closes the membranes, the, probably the most important part of it, uh, the bag of waters. And then we close your abdomen in the usual way. Fetal tissue research literally saves thousands of lives every year. And so an attack on fetal tissue research is a concern for everyone. But the Center for Medical Progress have been very clever. They're not attacking fetal tissue research itself. They're attacking the sale of aborted embryos for research purposes. The sale of human embryos is of course illegal, but people are allowed to charge a fee for the storage and delivery of those embryos. It's not unreasonable for people to charge a fee for the service of collecting and delivering such material. It's biohazardous, has to be sold under very specific conditions and needs very expensive medical equipment to store and deliver. So what the Center for Medical Progress have actually done is a little bit dishonest. They're claiming that by charging anything for fetal tissue, that amounts to the same as selling human organs, which it clearly doesn't. And that's been verified in a number of states where courts have said that there is no case against Planned Parenthood for charging a fee for their services. Fetal tissue research is essential for the progress of science. And so as a scientist, I support Planned Parenthood for enabling scientists to do, investigate diseases that save thousands of lives. So from both a scientific point and an ethical point, Planned Parenthood have done nothing wrong. Obviously, the issue of abortion is a contentious one and we need to be very sensitive around the choices of parents. But medical researchers have no influence over abortion rules. They are only able to use or not use the donated tissue that they receive. By attacking fetal tissue research, the Center for Medical Progress haven't progressed medicine at all. Instead, they're using the name science to attack the rights of women. And whether you agree with abortion or not, that's just not cool. In the name of transparency, we're leaving a link to the video below from the Center for Medical Research. So feel free to check it out. And we'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think about fetal tissue research? Is it a practice that should be continued? Is that an important part of science or should it be banned? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and we may feature them in a future video. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.